Good evening and thanks for joining us. Crystal meth use is up and drug prevention organizations say the numbers are alarming. The statistics come from the state's largest locally owned drug testing company. KITV4's Jody Leong joins us live with the details. Jody. Paula, thousands of people are screened for drugs every year for their jobs or as part of a job application. Diagnostic Laboratory Services performs most of the tests and found a significant increase in ice and marijuana use last year. I'm only going to try meth once. I'm, I'm not going to be like that guy. The airwaves have been saturated with ads like this in recent months, discouraging the use of crystal meth among teenagers. This wasn't supposed to be your life! It's too early to tell if this prevention campaign is working. But Diagnostic Laboratory Services today released its year-end numbers for 2009 and found crystal methamphetamine use rose 33 percent last year over 2008. A lot of that was contributed from this last quarter rise. The lab conducts 7 to 10,000 drug tests every quarter. The last quarter of 2009 saw the strongest surge in meth use, 57 percent above the average rate for the year. We don't know if it's a, it, it attributed to the economy perhaps or, or if it is just a, a one quarter uh, anomaly. But drug prevention groups like the Hawaii Meth Project say it's common to see increases in substance abuse in bleak economic times. It certainly presents an opportunity to sell drugs, right? So that's a potential revenue or income for somebody. And times of struggle also make it more difficult for people already suffering from substance abuse. There's, you know, probably a tendency to use more or to use more frequently. The Hawaii Meth Project focuses on prevention with the target audience of teenagers 12 to 17 years old. Its executive director, Cindy Adams, says the latest drug use numbers show how critical it is to focus on prevention. Particularly with teenagers who are going to be the next generation moving into the workforce, right, could make a very significant difference. Diagnostic Laboratory Services also found a 9% increase in marijuana use between 2008 and 9. Cocaine use was unchanged and opiate use was down for the year. The lab says it typically sees increases in drug use ebb and flow from one drug to another depending on supply and demand. And the lab continues to track the trends. Reporting live, Jody Leon, KITV4 Island Television News.